Hey guys, what's up and today we are back with another Let's Play video and today we will be continuing the quest of Tyler and Allison Ronan in Tell Me Why Episode 2 Family Problems or whatever it's called. So let's get into the video and please leave like and subscribe. Come on. Okay. Okay, so we're play so we're back at Huh? I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Sign so got to him. That's not cool. Sign so got to him. Well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that government. Yeah. Remind me to take it down later. Okay. Preta rep. What's that? Yeah. Ew, huh. what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. What's it doing here? I sense a story. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, huh. then yes. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Hey there, little buddy. I hate spiders, really. <laughs> I hate spiders. <laughs> if we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, huh. in my house, we don't kill them. Huh. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Hmm. Tyler kind of reminds me of Daniel in a way. Daniel Diaz from Life is Strange. Okay. Guys, say, this is a nice house. Even though what happened here was awful. What'd you say, Tyler? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Oh. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Yeah. Can I? Careful, the glasses. Oh. Whoa! Hey. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Oh. I gotta say, this remembering power is cool. Oh, huh. Remember. Huh. Come on, it's gonna get infected. Okay. I, I don't want to. She said not huh. to disturb her and Eddie. 
Where are you going? Huh. Things were different when she was around. We were family, huh? Eddie. How could you do this to me? Huh? Shh. Look. I had to make no. that call. Huh. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm going to show you what I remember. Over here, Allison. Okay. Now let's see Tyler's side of the story. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What huh. would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn huh. hypocrite. Get out of here. Huh. Marianne. Huh. I said get out! Huh. Out! Huh. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? Mm. He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Uh... Now let's see Allison's. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. Mm. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this is a procedure. Hmm. I wanted you to hear it from me. Hmm. Hey. Huh. Marianne. I'm sorry. Huh. Please just go. Hmm. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. Yeah. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, yeah. that was bullshit. And yeah. what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had reasons. I have no idea. Uh, he must have had reasons. He must have had his reasons for huh. not us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? Yeah. I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Yeah. Now we gotta choose. Get out. Here's Allison's memory. Man was sad. Here's goddamn hypocrite. Tyler's rough. Get out of here. Uh. Hmm. I. Hmm. I don't think it's Tyler's memory, but. Because Get out of here. I think any parent would be sad about their kid coming out to them. So I'm gonna go with Get out. Sad Marianne. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before oh. you get in trouble. Please just get out of here. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell oh. him. It was still the day she attacked us. Yeah. He still lied. Yeah. Now what? You go and get a straight answer from him. Yeah. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Huh. Fuck the trash. Huh. Oh. <laughs> huh. 
Ooh, nice mountain view. Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's base fan. Yeah. But he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have yeah. to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something mm. that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating uh. about it is really not cool. Huh? Yeah, uh, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. Okay. The graphics do look awesome. It's almost like we're playing Life is Strange. Huh. Guess I'll just go stretch my yeah. legs then. No, just give me a sec. Huh. Wonder who we're gonna play as okay, this Tina, time. What's going on? Hi, hon. Huh? I got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh. oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days. Huh. So they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Huh. So we're still Hi. playing as Allison. Yeah, very cool. Much but I know he's looking at other huh. properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention huh. it would be an all cash offer? Huh. Let's do it. This isn't the right time. It's really not. Yeah. It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't yeah. want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Okay. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Huh. Huh. Looking for collectibles, which I doubt there'll be any. But who knows? Maybe I'll find something. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, never mind. I was gonna close my window, but yeah. Huh. Examine. Who's this? I'd love to be able to make something like this. Yeah. Kind of. This kind of reminds me of Hatchy. It's a dog movie. Huh. I must... They did a good job on this game. Oh, there's Tyler. Huh? Oh. Huh. Just a rock. Okay, just a warning sign. Hmm. Yeah, let's go talk to Tyler now. Right after we read this. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. Huh. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Black Creek Trail. Everyone so to trail ahead for Delos Crossing departs at 8 a.m. in front of the community theater. Huh. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? Tom Vinci for mayor. Trust neighbor, successful business owner, loving family man. I'm guessing Tom is the mayor we saw I mean, the guy we saw at the store with Tessa. Okay. Now let's go talk to Tyler for real this time. Hmm. 
The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Yeah. Kind of rings a bell. Yeah. Okay. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? Huh? What do you mean? I feel like I've been here before. Talk. So? Huh? Tina? Tina West? Our realtor? Oh, that Tina. Yeah. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. Hmm. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that to yeah. get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? Hmm. And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds huh. in that fucking house. Huh. <sighs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. Yeah? I'm not happy your oh. foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Okay. Because you sure sounded like he it. He hated information about Marianne. Huh. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! Hmm. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come yeah. on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This huh. town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's yeah. my home, Tyler. My friends, my oh, family. Oh, crud. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Huh. Jeez. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Huh? You gonna talk Soko Day? I like the view. A warned me about this. Uh, you gonna Soko Day? Are you planning to solve all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. Mm. I feel like we're eating again. Yeah. You still want to live in the wild? Hmm. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in mm. a cave, speaking for the trees? I mm. do. Is it really that hard to imagine? <coughs> Didn't you know you weren't a loner? Who's gonna visit you? Uh, who's gonna visit you? Oh yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there? Huh. In the middle of nowhere. Well, I was hoping you would. of hide and seek. Cool. You were always accusing me of cheating. Yeah. <laughs> because you totally did. Uh, it yeah. was a cool game. Yep. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. We looked like little freaks. No one else could play with us. Uh... I can't believe we played it in public, though. Hmm. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting huh. nonsense. Yeah. Well, we were freaks. But that's why we were awesome. Yeah. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. Huh. I mean, we had each other. Yeah. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Yeah. Nah, all that money would have made me soft. <laughs> and I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. Yeah. <laughs> You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. Yeah. 
I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. Huh. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. Yeah. I'll try my best. And the thing we saw at the police station last episode, when I said that was a coat, and I really thought it was, that was Matt. Manhunter, or Mad Hunter, or something. I don't remember his name, so let's just call him Mad Hunter. Yeah. So I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. Uh -huh. You won't have a choice. We're not ten years old anymore. Don't say he needs. He's busy. Uh. He'll probably say he's too busy to talk. Yeah. That's how he tends to avoid conflict. We're not looking yeah. for conflict. Just answers. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. Lately, that's been pretty that's much the same thing. That's what adults do. I haven't been trying to pick fights. When they. You know that, right? I just want closure. That's all. Okay. I know. Yeah. I need some of it too. Hey. Oh. Huh? Look what I found! What the heck? Uh, it's a tree. Why are we by a tree? Oh, they carved their first Aha. letters. I knew it was cool. still here. <laughs> I knew we'd been here before. Yeah. We claimed it as part of their own <laughs> kingdom. And yeah. still is. All it needs is a little update. Yeah. Adding a T to it. <laughs> Good move, Tyler. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then. Cross the. Didn't have the guts. Cross the O and replace it with a T. Cool. Huh? There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. Huh. Tyler and Allison. <laughs> yep. Good move, Tyler. Good move. <laughs> hmm. If going back to the police department. Cool. So? What's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. Alright. Yeah. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Huh. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Officer Wilson. Yes, I have it all cool. written down. Have a good day, Mr. Brown. Hmm. Morning, Missy. How do uh, you get stuck working reception? Uh, Rose called in sick this morning. Uh, I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Yeah. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Um, Wilson. Huh? Could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. Oh. No need for Vincenzo to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Hey. He's been a little off all day. Good luck. Uh, yeah. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Let's talk to her a bit. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged hey. adults. He speaks. Right. How's Delos treating you so far? Knee deep in trash for a few days. A few days? Happy to see uh, Allison. Can't wait to leave. Uh, happy to see to see Allison. It's been good to see Allison. Yeah. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. <laughs> yeah. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. Yeah. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. I loved working with those kids. 
It was tough work. I should go. I loved working with those kids. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made yeah. some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts? Yeah. Man, they were so proud. Yeah. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, yeah. um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. Huh. I give lectures about police work, leave hmm. group talks when I can. What's the JCE that's awesome to you? Do your colleagues know? Uh, what's JCE? JCE? Hmm. You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. 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 Huh. That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, hmm. really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, yeah. they need people who really understand them. Yeah. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, yeah. sorry for the rant. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the interview? Yeah, Chief Brown's she taking a statement, but you might be able to snag him when he's done. Okay, see you around, Wilson. Huh. Huh, let's talk to this bud. Tyler Rowan. Huh. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. Yeah. That usually <laughs> happens between ages 11 and 21. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, welcome home. Won't be around long. It's been a while. It's been a while, buzz cut guy. Or us. Or Officer Greg. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, it's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Uh. Neon lights and smelly food. We got. We wanted to see the chief. Uh, let's say neon lights. <laughs> uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. Yeah. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. So, is there anything I can help you with? How's your day? Access to Marianne's files. How's your day? Busy day around here? No. Well, the fire alarm went off three uh, times in the span of an hour this morning. Whoa. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip <laughs> that alarm right off the wall. <laughs> All right. See you around, bus kick guy. Now, where was I in this report? Ah, right. Wonder if we could get some snacks. Probably not. Hey, we don't need any Come on. Just looking around, Allison. Jeez. Huh? Hmm. One sec. Okay, let's do this. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. I woke up at five oh. and got ready for work. Okay. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. Okay. So I woke her up at six. I made breakfast and as we were eating, I realized I hadn't grabbed the mail the night before. Isabella asked to come with me. So I helped her into her coat and boots okay. before we went up. We stepped outside. It was still quite dark, but she spotted it anyway. Huh? Someone, something, huh? was going through our mailbox. Why? My back was to it because I was shutting the door. But Isabella is certain of what she saw. Huh. She says it was a little kid. Whoa. Around her size. She shouted at them, but by the time I turned around, they were gone. Just like in a they horror a movie. Kid. Mm, that's what she said. A little kid wearing stripes. Huh. What about you? Are you sure you didn't see anything? Huh. I... No. I'm sorry. Huh. 
Hmm. So a little kid broke into her mailbox. Huh. Morning, Chief Brown. Strange. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Yeah. Look, now's not the best time. Hmm. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. Hmm. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish hmm. taking this woman's statement, and I don't have time to chat right now. Hmm. They were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back That's to this That's not complaint. true. Sorry, guys. <coughs> Friday. I hate when he's stubborn like that. Yeah. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. We get the truth ourselves. We can't do much. We get the truth ourselves. Well, he's yeah. obviously not going to give us the truth. Yeah. So we go get it ourselves. Why do you think they'd stash our file? Yeah. Um, the archive room? Hmm. Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Yeah. Go big or go home? Where is Isabella now? At school. She's back at her father's hmm. house for the week. Can I get Mr. Henderson's information from you? I think it'd be helpful if I could talk to Isabella. Yes, of course. Let's go to the archive room, wherever that is. Hmm. Let's go upstairs, time's up. Uh, do you like being a cop? So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh, yeah. But I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Mm. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to yeah. get him coffee. <laughs> Chief can't just ask that day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Way to go, Chief Brown. Yeah. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? Uh, dreaming of Diane... Hard to plan anything. Dreaming of... Dan. Well, I studied to be a park ranger, yeah. and I'm hoping to do a tour in Denali. Hey, you know, I have a cousin huh. who works in Yosemite. If huh. Denali doesn't work out, I could see if they have any openings for you. Cool. You'd do that? Of course. As long as you don't make me sorry I offered. Thanks, Denise. Yeah. It'd be amazing. About JC. How did you find out about the JC? Same way anyone finds anything. Huh. The internet. It took a few yeah. months before I actually went to a meeting, though. Every time I thought about going, I <laughs> chickened out. Yeah. I can relate. How come? Yeah, how come? Really? Why? Hmm. I had a bad case of by imposter syndrome. Like, I wasn't uh. clear enough. But we're talking about teenage days huh. here. Oh. I've worked through my shit now. It is a wonderful, supportive community. Huh. Can't recommend it enough. Okay. See you around, Denise. See you around, then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Yeah. She's a nice lady. Let's go upstairs, Tyler. Okay. Oh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, yeah. I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Toilet yeah, emergency. You Lake water. Yeah. You know, Mother Nature's yeah. juice cleanse. Yeah. The bathroom just past the break room. <laughs> Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must yeah. be another way out. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire. Oh, room. yeah. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god, why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. So I think we're gonna pull the fire alarm.
Oh. Huh. Ground floor, first floor. Uh, let's look here. Fire exit. Oh. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building. Okay. It'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait. Really? Oh. Not a better idea? Not really. I'm a bad actor. Right. Let's go. supposed to do a diversion Bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna wait for her outside. Okay. Yeah. See you around, See you around. Denise. Later. She's nice. collectibles. Even snowflakes on his jacket and hair. So cool. I tried it. A nice office. If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. 
Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is. Yeah. Doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. Saying that here makes me feel even worse. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, uh, huh. wow. He graduated really young. I guess officer to ever join the DCPD. Huh. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Hmm. Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Since huh. he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. Hmm. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Huh. Okay. Honor... Okay. Hmm. Hey, Eddie, you'll find enclosed your invitation manual, including a plus one on the chance that one day you'll use it. Cheers, Elliot. Hmm. Okay. You finding anything? No. Huh. So it must be this. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Huh. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Okay. Child Services. Huh. Nothing here. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Firewood? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Betty Brown, you'll find it enclosed the final invoice for resident Tyler huh. Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled huh. the strings to send you there, but... <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't hmm. want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Huh. Let's look at this. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? Huh. I did. They rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. Hmm. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber. Huh. <laughs> Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. Huh. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Huh. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Yeah. Okay, so we know that Eddie's been lying about Allison getting accepted because he hid that letter from her. So it must be. Huh, the Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. Hmm. Under. Okay, private class. Okay. Hmm. Donald Martin. Okay. Hmm. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Don. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. Donald Martin. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Court. Day four, five, four, twenty fourteen. Guilty. Okay. Oh, look at you, huh. Allison Ronan, perfect huh. daughter. Can we stay focused, huh. please? She really does look pretty in that picture. Okay. Seriously, you're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information. And computers are basically information pinyon. Whoa. Brown looked at our hmm. file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Regard your request this morning about the Roman case. It hasn't been done yet, so you can find the paper written in the archives for other references about the case. Okay. Huh. 
Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Kelsa it. and I would love to, to have Support you over Tom. for dinner he and Thursday night. I know you can't say no to our roast salmon. Okay. okay. Mm. No. We would like to remind you of the upcoming council meeting. Okay. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's got to be where our file is. Yeah. Armory. No. And that's... So it must be this way. <laughs>
first two seem to be right. Dumb. Duh. D. The first two seem to be right. Dumb. Duh. D. The first two seem to be right. That took so long, guys. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Oh, God. great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Hmm. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half done sorting system. Yeah. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. Oh, Christ. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Oh, Christ. Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Uh, okay. Look it up, she says. R656. Three, six. Thanks a lot, Allison. Nothing in... So it can't be this one. Nope. Not this one either. Where's the damn box? No, that's not it. Nope. Well? Huh. What was that reference number again? 05R68653. 05. literally just licking on boxes. Hmm. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. Okay. Might be a male incident. Okay. 
Marianne's well, file. So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Huh. Okay. Now we found the box, time to do some research on Marianne to learn the truth. Alright, I'm in. Hopefully. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Marianne Ronan? March 1st, 2005? Marianne Ronan. Police report crime. 24 
Marianne was shoplifting? What the heck? And that she had him out shoplifting too? Whoa. I remember going in to get things for her, but huh. she said she'd already paid for them. Tessa also accused her of child neglect. Huh. What huh. the hell? Is there any more to that? No, but I'll keep digging. Holy cow. I'm gonna leave this episode here. So anyway guys, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. But on the next time guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Bye guys!